well a uh, few people ask me about the sharepoint online storage limit how it works so i thought we'll make a video on the same so that we'll get an understanding about sharepoint online storage limits how we can add additional storage and also how we can use powershell or pnp powershell for uh, uh, setting up storage quota for uh, site collections so i'll show you all these things here and there is another also uh, there is a confusion usually occurred about the 25 tb that there is a limit on the sharepoint site collection versus 1 tb that we got for uh, sharepoint online sites so we will check everything on that these are the topics that we are going to cover almost uh, now uh, the next thing i'll show you is this one so uh, understand the how exactly the storage allocated to us when you will do a office 365 sign up for example in this case you will get 1 tb uh, plus 10 gb per license now for example you you have signed up for an office 365 subscription then you will get 1 tb plus let's say you took 10 licenses then you will get 100 gb for that so that's how exactly the um, you will get the storage space by default again if you require more then we can uh, uh, we can add uh, additional storage obviously you have to buy it uh, there is a cost associated with that i'll show you that uh, so now what i'll do is uh, let me just open uh, one url here uh, if you look at this url this is sharepoint limits that microsoft provides and this is by the plan so uh, the microsoft 365 business basic standard and premium plan you will get as i discussed one by one tb plus uh, 10 gb per license and the same thing with the Microsoft 365 E3 E5 plan or Office 365 E1 E3 E5 and also the SharePoint dedicated plans SharePoint plan 1 and plan 2 right for these two also you will get 1 TB plus 10 GB per license so uh, if you have any of these things you will get 1 GB per 10 GB uh, per license now if you have Microsoft 365 uh, F1 or F3 and office 365 f3 then you will get one tb so that is the space that you can get and if you want additional space then anytime you can buy you can purchase it even in fact you can buy unlimited storage for your organization as well if you require that now one more thing also if you look at here another thing is max storage per site or the site collection is 25 tb and regardless of any licensing you will get 25 tb for that now what exactly this meaning this is a hard limit uh, a lot of time now now the confusion you can see here right one tb you are saying for the entire um, uh, uh, tenant and now again i am saying 25 tb for the uh, site collection for one site collection so actually this is the hard limit that means your site collection cannot grow beyond that so let's say you you are expecting that your site collection will grow more then in that case you should plan so that you can create different different site collection and you can store accordingly and that is the way that you have to handle because beyond 25 tb you cannot have a site collection uh, you cannot uh, store that now the entire one tb whatever you are getting right if you are thinking that uh, your space allocation over uh, you need more space then you can buy it i, I will show you how you can buy it first of all how where you can see this all these things you can see from the sharepoint admin center if you log into the sharepoint admin center then go to active sites now this is where you can see the space uh, 3.80 gb of 1 tb now this is what uh, i have um, you know for my entire site collection or for my entire tenant for all the site collection i have used 3.8 gb uh, from my 1 tb uh, that is the space now this is for uh, one uh, this is for the entire uh, office 365 tenant uh, but if you want to uh, check this thing for individually uh, for a particular site collection then you can go to the site collection and you can check it for example in this case let's say i'll go to this corporate training uh, uh, this one um, or in fact anything you can go here dot uh, uh, net training let's say this is a site so if i'll open it you can see here go to uh, the settings this is a modern site by the way so you can basically get it the information from the site settings page so if you click on gear icon then click on site information if you have classic site directly you can click on sharepoint settings uh, site settings so site information you can see and then you can see view all site settings so you can see and once you come to the view all site settings then scroll down here under set, set, uh, site collection administration you can see storage matrix 
and if you'll click on that you can see this is the space that is available uh, i have not used anything much on this site that's the reason you, you can see almost everything is uh, available uh, or it is free um, now here you can see this 25600 uh, this is the gb that is ultimately 25 tb now here the confusion usually creates now it, it looks like i have uh, 25 tb available no actually this is not you don't have 25 tb available for this you have a uh, you know one tb available uh, which you can uh, which can be used across your site collections now this 25 tb is the hard limit that you can use uh, means your entire site collection can have maximum 25 tb now to use let's say you have to buy 24 uh, tb additionally if you want to use this but obviously your site collection will not grow that much if you, if you are not expecting then you can also set some uh, storage quota for this for example i will say okay this is not the site that a lot of people are using probably i will keep 5 gb for that now that you can manage uh, manually also so now this thing is automatically handled by sharepoint because the settings for this is handled by sharepoint automatically now how we can check it if you'll go to the sharepoint admin center uh, then you can see settings and uh, there is a site storage limits you can see here on the settings settings page and uh, the storage management now is automatic so you can set it manual and then click on ok once you set it manual then you have the option where you can change it either you can change through powershell or anything now if i'll go to the active sites now this is the site you can see here .NET training uh, now I'll go to the .NET training, I'll select this and then you can see, you will see an option uh, edit uh, or the storage where you can edit edit the storage limit. Now if you click on this, you can see it is allocating the entire thing. But let's say I'll allocate just 5GB or 4GB for that. And uh, this allow notification, right? This is, uh, let's say you allocated 5GB and people uploaded document and uh, when you set when it is actually 95 98% uh, the storage allocation or uh, storage storage has been used then as a site owner you will get a email saying that your quota is getting over so you have to upgrade it you have to add additional storage for that now that is what uh, this is this allow notification will do so if i'll click on five and then click on save now actually go to storage matrix i'll just refresh this page by the way we are in the dotnet training site or uh, to which site we have now just set this now look at this it is showing that 4.99 gb free out of 5 gb because we set 5 gb for that now this is how exactly we can uh, um, uh, from your sharepoint admin center you can set this storage quota for this particular site and once you enable this also manual option anytime you will create a site for example i'll click on create and create a team site if you'll go to the advanced settings scroll down you can see this is the option and you can set here let's say 5 gb on 10 gb whatever you can use it here and uh, this will be the site space or the site site storage now so this is about the how we can do things in the sharepoint admin center now next thing we will see here is uh, we will see how we can do this thing using uh, powershell or uh, um, how basically um, we can manage thing by using pnp powershell or sharepoint on online management cell but before that uh, do you want to know the price so we basically we will see here how we can uh, uh, check the price for this and to check that we have to go to uh, the office 365 admin center or the sharepoint admin center from the gear icon you can click on admins and then you will be in the sharepoint uh, sorry office 365 admin center from here billing then purchase services you can see here you will see all your services which has been purchased or which you can purchase so i'll just collapse all these things uh, you can see here there is uh let me okay if you'll go here there is add-ons click on add-ons and you can come down here this is sharepoint 365 sorry office 365 extra file storage now you can see the price so it is 13.22 that is in indian currency uh, per gb per month and in um, dollar it will be 0 0.17 or 18 dollar so 0 0.18 or 17 dollar uh, per gb per month that you are going to get on this 
and if you we'll click on details you will have that option and you can buy you can click on buy and then you will be able to buy the space and remember this is per month per gb so this is going to be for the entire year that is into 12 for uh, it is in indian rupees again and you can upgrade uh, almost on all the office 365 plans that i showed you right that is about uh, office 365 enterprise e1 e2 e3 e4 or e5 plan even the dedicated sharepoint plan 1 and plan 2 office 365 uh, or microsoft 365 business uh, basic standard and premium so whatever your plan almost on all the plans this adding uh, of additional storage is supported and here you can buy it now let's say you want to allocate this or before that let's say you want to see all your site collections and what is exactly the storage quota that has been set here now that you can do using powershell or pnp powershell first we'll see how we can use uh, by using powershell here so i will open uh, you know uh, powershell iac basically that's what i use so i will just search for powershell iac uh, and you make sure that you have installed SharePoint Online Management Shell then you can use or you can connect with those uh, uh, PowerShell commands now for this I will we can this is the script let me just open it uh, now you can see here connect hyphen SPO service you provide the admin center URL because we are trying to connect to SharePoint through SharePoint Online Management Shell and in that case in that case you can provide the admin URL and it will ask for the credential then get hyphen spo site now this is the command that you can use which will display all the information now let me run it so you can see here it is asking me for the credential so i'll put it click on ok now once you click on ok you will be able to see all your sites you can see here this is all my site collections and this is the storage quota remember you can see here this is a, a business is a sharepoint site collection where i have set 10 GB similarly you can see here this is where we have set .NET training now this is 5 GB so you can actually see the storage quota and wherever you have not set it it is showing the entire storage quota so this is how it is and next thing is we will see is how we can set it uh, basically let's say uh, this is a site where you want to storage or we, where you want to set the storage quota as 10 GB now to make it simple I will just run this command here uh, we have already connected here so let me change this url here now you can see here this is the dot net training i'll just copy this url uh, let me show you now you can see this is 5gb so once i run this uh, you can see here it is run successfully and if i will open now now uh, this is the storage matrix i'll just refresh for this particular site and you can see here now it is 10gb so this is how individually for a particular site collection you can increase by using uh, powershell uh, if you want to set it for the entire site collection you can see here this is the command that you can get or you can use it so i'll just put it here you can see uh, you just you can get get hyphen spo site which will limit all which will give you all the sites and then you can do a for each loop and in the for each loop we are using the same set hyphen spo site and then site url and then storage quota which is 10 gb that means once i run this script then for my entire site collection the storage quota will be set 10 gb for each and every site collection uh, i'll not do that now but this is a, a tested script which you can use it by the way i have written a complete article i'll put the url uh, because you can uh, see screenshot wise everything and you will get the script also i'll put in the uh, in the in 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 terms of uh, in that video also we, you can get the script now next thing i will what we will see here is how exactly we can do or how we can use pnp powershell now this is simple if you are familiar with pnp i have already covered in other video tutorials so same thing we'll do here connect hyphen sp online and this is the url and uh, let's say i will make it to uh, uh, two zero something and uh, this is let me copy this url again dot net training so i'll just put it here and i have huge web uh, hyphen huge web login so that it will open the browser and i can select it from there uh, for the credentials 
now here set hyphen pnp uh, tenant site now this is what is the command which will take the site url for which site you want to set the storage quota and then this is the parameter set uh, hyphen sorry hyphen storage max label maximum label and this is the in terms of mb uh, that you can do and uh, unlike sharepoint online management shell where you can connect with your admin center in this case you can just provide the particular site url now let me run it so once you run it you can see here it is asked for a um, web login so if you have not logged in then it will ask actually browser where you can put your credentials and then the command will run now if i'll open the site i'll just refresh it it should be double almost you can see here 20 gb now this has been allocated now this is about uh, the sharepoint uh, uh, you know site uh, storage limits remember there is no limit how much it can be uh, it is that you can add, take additional storage whenever you require uh, and that's how it works uh, you you only better know that how whichever the site collections are uh, let's say taking more space uh, if it is automatic managed then it will be taken care by my sharepoint itself so if you want to manage it manually then that also you can do you can use power cell if you have a large organization right let's say a lot of people are requesting for sharepoint sites for their day or testing something like that then in those scenarios you do really don't need to uh, provide them a lot of space maybe you can limit them to 1 gb or 2 gb where they can do practice and those kind of things but in a production environment always it is advisable that you 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 limit it so that uh, in, you you should not have a problem in additional unnecessary storage that that will be killing from your office 360 web subscription so i hope this will be useful and i thought i'll make this video so that you will get an idea about sharepoint online storage 